Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in the sixth video of job costing chapter, we are going to solve our fifth problem. But the question is actually from Bangalore University's BCom paper, fourth sem, costing methods and techniques. Okay, 2023 paper. And it is as per NEP syllabus. This question was asked for 12 marks. Now, why I have taken this question, understand. Usually in job costing, they give simple sums, right? Simple job cost sheet we have to prepare. But here what has happened is, here they have given us opening stock and closing stock of raw material, right? So that's one thing. Second thing is they have given us closing stock of finished goods also. They have said units produced are 6,000 and units sold are 4,000. 6,000 we produced. 4,000 we have sold. What happened to remaining 2,000? It's still with us. It's unsold. So that's called closing stock of finished goods. So what we are going to do about that? Yeah, so these two adjustments are there and then rest are really simple only. But if we have these adjustments, then what happens is our job cost sheet format will become a little bit lengthy. So we have to discuss that first. Okay, so let's discuss the format. See here, job cost sheet. What you're going to do? First, you need to take direct material. You all know, right? So you will do opening stock of raw material plus purchases of raw material minus closing stock of raw material. Then you will get how much direct material has been consumed, right? Then you will take direct labor, direct expenses as usual only. You will add, you will get the prime cost. To the prime cost, what do you add? You add work overheads, factory overheads, production overhead, yeah, whatever you want to call it. You add that, you get what? Factory cost or work cost. Then what do you do? You add office and admin overheads, you get cost of production. You all know this. After this, after doing till here, cost of production, what you have to do is, you have to take finished goods, opening stock and closing stock. Opening stock will be added, closing stock will be subtracted. Is it clear? This is one extra thing you are doing over here regarding this, okay? We will see in the solution. This is just the format that I want to make it clear to you. So see here. When you do that, you will get cost of goods sold. Fine. Okay. And then, and then you will add selling and distribution overheads. Fine. You will get the total cost as usual. Then profit, then you will get the sales. Is it clear? See, you will add the profit, you will get the sales. Fine. So this is what you have to do. And then in this question, what has happened is they have also asked cost per unit. So we are also going to understand how to do this column also. Okay, while solving this question. So let's just solve this question. Let's not waste any more time. Now, see here, we have the solution, but we have not read the question completely. So see here, let's just do it simultaneously. From the following figures, prepare job cost sheet. Okay, we'll prepare that. Showing cost per unit. Okay, they are asking that specifically, we need a CPU column and profit for the period. Yes, this will calculate at last. Second last item, profit. Then we have sales, right? So see here we have opening stock of raw material, purchase of material, closing stock of raw material. Yeah, three figures are there just about the material. 20,000, 1 lakh, 10,000. What do we do of this? Where does material comes? In the beginning. Yeah, direct material, then direct labor, then direct expenses. If we add these three, we get prime cost. So just to calculate the direct material, we have to use all these first three figures. Isn't it? Yes, you know that. First, we'll take opening stock of raw material, 20,000. And then we will take purchase of raw material. That's 1 lakh. Yeah. So that's equal to 1 lakh 20,000. Then we will subtract the closing stock of raw material. That is 10,000. So if we subtract that, we get 1 lakh 10,000, which is nothing but direct material consumed. Is it clear? Simple and straightforward. How did I get this 18.33? It's really simple. 1 lakh 10,000 divided by 6,000. That's equal to 18.333. 1 lakh 10,000 divided by 6,000. That's equal to 18.333. Just take two decimal. That's enough. Is it clear? Okay. After that, what do we do? We take direct labor. Do we have direct labor? Yes. See, direct wages, they are saying 60,000. Take it. Direct wages, 60,000. 1 lakh 10 plus 60. That's equal to 1 lakh 70. Yeah. 60,000 divided by 6,000 units, that's 10 rupees. Fine. And then we have got prime cost, see, 1,70,000. Yes, 1,70,000 divided by 6,000 units, that's equal to 28.333. Is it clear? So CPU is very simple. Just divide by the units. Fine. 
how did I get the units? How did I get that 6,000 units? See, it's really simple. The question has said, now 6,000 units have been produced, right? So that's 6,000 units. Fine. Okay, understood. Then what? Then see, after prime cost, what do we do? You all know we add factory overheads or it's also called as work overheads or production overheads. So do we have anything that is related with factory in this question? Any cost of factory? Yes, see, machine. Where do machine exist? In the factory. Yeah, that's where we do all the processing and production. So machine hours work, they have said 10,000 and machine hour rate is 1.25 per hour. Yeah, we don't have to calculate anything directly. They have given on this job. These many hours have been worked on the machine by the machine and 1.25 is the rate per hour. So simply just multiply and take it machine hour cost. Okay, so see work overheads machine hour cost 10,000 into 1.25 per hour. That's equal to 12,500 rupees. Is it clear? If we divide that that's equal to 2.08. If we divide it by 6,000 2.08. Is it clear? Okay, understood. So 170 plus 12,500 that's equal to 182,500. So this is called as works cost. You all know, right? When we add the work overheads to prime cost, we get works cost or factory cost. Factory or cost also you can say. Okay, all right. After this, what do we do? After this, let me just show you what we do is we take office or admin overheads. Yeah, do we have office or admin overhead in this question? Yes. Office overhead, 25% of work cost. See, this is our work cost. They are saying office overhead is 25% of that. So 1,82,500 into 0 0.25, that's equal to 45,625. This will be our office or administration overhead. Okay, see here. Office or admin overheads, 182,500 into 25%, 45,625. Yeah, CPU is really simple. CPU, just divide. 182,500 divided by 6,000, 30.41. 45,625 divided by 6,000, that's equal to 7.60. Yeah, just divide by the units produced. It's that simple. Okay, then what? After adding office or admin overhead, we get cost of production. Yeah. So see here, cost of production, 182,500 plus 45,625, that is equal to 228,125, yeah? And then see CPU, CPU how you will get? You can add also 30.41 plus 7.60, that's equal to 38.1, right? 38.01, or you can divide, divide by 6,000, that's equal to 38.02. You see, small difference is coming. That's fine. Okay, it's not a big deal. You will get the full marks only. Okay, small approximation is uh, considered. Okay, all right. So I'm taking 38.02. You can also take 38.01. Okay, understood. After this, what do we do? After cost of production, I told you in this question, we have a closing stock of 2000 units. How did I get to know that? Units produced are 6,000 and the question is telling 4,000 have been sold. 6,000 minus 4,000, that is equal to 2,000 that is still left with us. That's called closing stock of finished good. Closing stock of finished good, right? So what do we do of that? It's really simple. We have to first value that. And we do that over here. You have to remember the, you know, at what level it comes, okay? At this level, after cost of production, you have to remember this. If you will solve certain problems, yeah, few problems, you will automatically remember it. All right. So see here, opening stock of finished goods, you have to add and closing stock of finished goods, you have to subtract, right? Over here, there is no opening stock of finished goods. So just leave that nil and closing stock, you have to subtract. Now you will wonder, how did I get this 76,040? See, it's really simple. 2000 units have been left, right? So on those 2000 units, tell me what you have spent on it. You will say, I have spent 38.02 on each of those units. Isn't it? This much money you have spent, right? So on that only you will value. Is that clear? Really simple and straightforward. That is what you are going to do. This much you have spent on each of the units. On this only you will value. See, 2000 units are left into 38.02. That is equal to 76,040. Is that clear? Simple and straightforward. See, 
या वेन एवर द क्वेश्चन इज साइलेंट ऑलवेज यू विल वैल्यू द क्लोजिंग स्टॉक एट कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ओनली सी वैल्यू क्लोजिंग स्टॉक एट सी ओ पी कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ओके सो टू लैख ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड वन ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस सेवेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड फोर्टी दैट इज इक्वल टू वन लैख फिफ्टी टू थाउजेंड एटी फाइव रुपीज एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड एज कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सूट ओके एंड देन द सी पी यू नाउ यू हैव टू आस्क योर सेल्फ यू विल वॉन्डर दिस वाई हियर वी हैव थर्टी एट पॉइंट जीरो टू वाई इज दिस नॉट चेंजिंग वाई इज दिस नॉट चेंजिंग इफ वी जस्ट डिवाइड सी हियर वन लैख फिफ्टी टू थाउजेंड जीरो एट फाइव डिवाइड बाई सिक्स थाउजेंड हाउ मच डू वी गेट ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री फोर शुड आई टेक ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री फोर ओवर हियर इज दैट करेक्ट नो इट्स नॉट करेक्ट अंडरस्टैंड प्रॉपरली here for cost of production what did you do this was for 6000 units this cost of production was for 6000 units then from that you have removed the cost of 2000 units 76040 so this 152085 is the cost of only the goods that you have sold not of entire production what you have sold you have sold only 4000 units isn't it you have sold only 4000 units So what you have to do is one lakh fifty two thousand eighty five divided by four thousand, not six thousand. Okay, so that is equal to the same CPU thirty eight point zero two. Is it clear? This is how it is. Okay, see one lakh fifty two thousand eighty five divided by four thousand. You understood the logic also. Why we are dividing by four thousand? Because only these units have you have sold, and that's the cost of it. Okay, understood. Easy. After cost of goods sold, what you have to do? After cost of goods sold, really simple. You will take selling and distribution overheads. You will get total cost, then profit, then sales. Yeah. So selling overhead they have said rupees two per unit. Okay. Selling overhead, selling and distribution overhead. Common sense. You have spent this money on the goods that you have sold, right? So how many units have you sold? Six thousand. Can you take six thousand into two? That's Twelve thousand. Can you take twelve thousand? No, you can't. So what you have to do, you will take four thousand units because only four thousand units you have sold, right? So see here, selling and distribution overheads, four thousand into two. That's equal to eight thousand. And the CPU is two only, isn't it? Two, right? Yeah, directly. Okay. So that's selling and distribution overheads, right? Do not multiply it with unit produce. Multiply it with the units that you have sold. Okay. So one lakh fifty two thousand eighty five rupees plus eight thousand that is equal to one lakh sixty thousand eighty five rupees. Is it clear? We just make a sum of this. See thirty eight point zero two plus two rupees that's equal to forty point zero two. Fine. Okay. Now what we need? Now we need to calculate the profit. How are we going to calculate the profit? Is profit given in the question? No. Mostly profit will never be given in the question. They will just give you some percentage thing. So see that percentage thing. Twenty percent on selling price. They are saying profit is twenty percent on sales. Do we have sales? We don't have sales. We don't have sales, right? And profit also we don't have. Just twenty percent on sales. And cost? Yes, cost we have. We have calculated cost. One lakh sixty thousand eighty-five. Now understand. It's really simple. What you have to do? See, sales. You have to assume as hundred percent, okay? And then profit they have said twenty percent on sales. So this is twenty percent. So cost will be obviously less than sales. That's eighty percent. If for example profit was let's just say twenty five percent, then sales you will assume at hundred percent and cost will be seventy five percent. Yeah, like that. So if here cost is eighty percent, then you have to understand. This one lakh sixty thousand eighty five. This is at eighty percent. Okay, so you will just divide one lakh sixty thousand eighty five divided by eighty. That's equal to two zero zero one. Okay, this is what this is one percent. Okay, in this entire hundred percent, one percent is two thousand one rupees. So now what you have to do, you have to calculate profit, right? So multiply by twenty to calculate profit. Okay, that is equal to forty thousand twenty-one rupees. Is it clear? Point two five. You will ignore that. Okay, you will round it back. Okay. Do you understand what did I do? See, first I took the cost and I divided it by the cost percentage. Fine. I got what is one percent in this hundred percent. 
So if I just multiply this with 20, I got 20% which is nothing but profit. Yeah. So see here, profit is this. You understand? 40,021 rupees. Is it clear? Yeah. See the calculation. 1,60,085. This is at, you know, cost percentage divided by 80. It's at 80%. So divide by 80, you got what is 1%, then you multiply with 20, you get the profit, okay? And here 10, how did I get 10 over here? Just, you know, do the calculation. Uh, 40,021 divided by 4,000 units, that is equal to, see, 10.00, so 10.00, is it clear? Okay, so that was the CPU. Now what we need to do, we have to calculate the sales. It's really simple, total cost, plus profit that will be the sales isn't it so 1,60,085 plus 40,021 that's equal to 2,106 easy yeah and then CPU also you will just add 40.02 plus 10 that's equal to 50.02 is it clear simple and straightforward this was the complete solution of this uh, question okay so it's really simple just take the screenshot now now understand it's really simple it's not difficult the answer could vary a little bit if you would have taken the total of this okay 30.41 plus 7.60 it would be 38.01 and slight difference can come in the closing stock figure and then in the profit figure also slight difference that difference is fine okay so yeah this is how you have to do it you have taken the screenshot take the screenshot of the format as well okay and then the question C. All right. So yeah. So that's it for this video. See you in the next video. Bye.